Well, we're done shopping. So we brought him in here to get some ice cream. I just took it easier this morning. We just had such a good time. We are heading to the capital because it's something that the Lord's doing. Like strawberries, these are cheese curds. And we're saying no, not on our yes. watch. There's something there for you. I just have the best group of friends. Jesus paid it all. Hey, you all. Welcome. Welcome back to Chloe Avalon. And I am still in Montana. And it's a beautiful day today. And guys, I'm just going to take you again on a couple days in the life. Uh, the last video that you that I put out was a couple days in our life here and I'm just gonna do it again because I feel that's the best way I can get content out to you because we're just doing a lot of things here with family and friends just doing a lot of stuff so I'm gonna take you on a couple days in the life and right now I'm heading to my mom's house me and my sisters um, two sisters that are here Mary and Josie are gonna meet and just have coffee with mom this morning. So, yeah, stay tuned. There's a lot going on. Just came away from my parents house and we just had such a good time I had such a good time with my sisters and mom and dad and um, yeah I just realized how blessed I am to have parents who pray for us you know have pray uh, parents who pray for you and uh, who bless you they are definitely amazing parents they prayed over us blessed us and our children and yeah I am I know that I am blessed and I know that a lot of the blessings that I receive in life is because of their prayers and yeah it's just so nice to be able to walk with our parents and in this life and have a good relationship with them and with all of my brothers and sisters actually it's such a blessing because i think that is actually kind of rare so anyways um now right after lunch um my sister-in-law dora and i are going to take our two daughters to town maybe get some i don't know tea or coffee or i just had coffee so i don't know what we're going to do but and then we might do a little bit of thrift shopping with them just so um Avalon and Antonia can hang out together because they're close to the same age and yeah we just want to spend some time with our daughters this afternoon. We brought him in here to get some ice cream. <laughs> it's Antonia and Avalon and Chloe just hanging out having fun. Well, we're done shopping and we decided to go walking here by the, I think you call it the mill ponds. I'm not quite sure, but it's just a gorgeous day. It's just a beautiful day. So we're just walking here and I'll just show you around a little bit.
Hey guys, this is the next afternoon and I'm getting ready to go um, to my brother's house, uh, Marcus and Dora, for uh, dinner. They invited us for dinner and come to find out it's Dora's birthday. I should have known that, but I forgot it. Um, so I have two sister-in-laws with the name Dora. So yesterday I was with one of them and we went uh, out with our daughters, so you saw that. And now I'm going to the other one. So, um, yeah, we're going to have a good evening. And the children are not around. They're playing with cousins right now. And the guys are working. So I'm just get, getting ready because I'd like to go down to the store and, like, fill a little basket with, you know, items. Just some cool items. Um maybe even some food items, I don't know, uh, for Dora's birthday. So I'm gonna go do that quickly. And I'm sorry, I didn't get any footage in today. I just, it was just kind of a boring day. I took it a lot easier. And, um, but then the afternoon I did some sweeping and mopping. Um, but yeah, I just took an easier day. So I thought I wouldn't video until tonight. And so, yeah, we're going to have a good time with my brother and sister. We're probably going to play some games. I don't know. Um, and then I'm really excited about tomorrow. I'm, tomorrow I'm going to um, go to Helena. It's uh, where the capital is for Montana. And I'm, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this, but there is in every state of the United States, there are people going to the Capitol, especially women. Uh, they're just heading to the Capitol and the organization is called Don't Mess With Our Kids. Um, so we're going to worship and pray at the Capitol for like a couple hours. So I'm going along. There's a few ladies from the church going, so I'm going along. Um, and we're just going to worship and pray and uh, just see what God does because... You know, the enemy has really targeted um, our children, this generation, with like gender confusion, with all this ugly stuff that isn't necessary. And we are just saying it's enough. It's enough. So I know that some of you probably don't understand or don't even know what I'm talking about. And that's totally fine. Don't even try to figure it out. <laughs> But that's what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm going to drive with a bunch of ladies to the Capitol. And it's like a, probably about a five hour drive from here. So it's going to be an all day thing. And our children will be doing sleepovers and stuff. So they'll be fine. And Joyce is going to go up to an auction somewhere up in Eureka, Montana with the boys. So we're just all doing our separate things tomorrow. But I'm excited to take you along. By the way, this makeup that I put on my face is completely natural. So it's not harmful for my skin. I would not put any on <laughs> if it would be harmful. Or probably not. Um, but this stuff is totally natural and it's actually good for your skin. So I am so glad I have like a natural place to go to for my skincare. And yeah, skincare. I also do skincare with this and hair care. And there's quite a few of you ladies that have asked like, what products do I put on my face first when I do my skincare? Because there's serums, toners, moisturizers, uh, facial washes, and yeah. So I just want to quickly tell you that what you, of course you want to do first is wash your face. So I have a facial cleansing milk here. And then after you've washed your face, then you put on your toner. When your face is totally clean, you put on your toner. And what I use right now is the prebiotic facial mist. And I love this stuff. And I actually use it after I do my makeup. I actually set my makeup with this. And it gives it a little bit more of a dewy look. So there you have it. <laughs> It feels so good on my face. But yeah, you do the toner after you wash. And then if you have a serum, like this is the anti-aging oil serum. And I use this especially in the evening. Now you don't always have to do this whole line, um, but there's different serums. Now this is really moisturizing. So if you need moisture, then this is a good serum. And I just use like one pump and I put that over my face. And then after I've done that, if you need an eye cream, I have the collagen eye cream and I just dab that, just take a little dab and dab that 
all around my eyes, especially underneath. It helps with puffiness and dark circles. And then last, you would put on your moisturizer. And the moisturizer I have right now is the Firming Face Cream. <laughs> and the lip gloss that I'm gonna put on tonight is called Charmed. And I like it because it's more neutral. It gives me a little bit of color, but it is more neutral. Like that. <laughs> because I like stuff that's neutral. Every once in a while, I'll wear a darker color, but anyways, that's what we're doing tonight. And by the way, if you would like to try any of this stuff or uh, even just look at the products, I have a link below where all the products are and it's an event link. So if you hit on that, make sure you shop on that event link because um, you will be automatically placed in a drawing for free product. And usually I have three to five ladies that win every month. Um, and usually it is always over $200 worth of product. So I'm still gonna get my hair done and then I'm gonna go down to the store. Okay, here's my gift tray that I got for my sister-in-law Dora's birthday and I love this. I got this at the gift shop down at the store. For those of you who don't know, we have like a big like country store just close by that my husband's family owns. And there's a gift shop, coffee shop, and just a regular like grocery store. And it's really nice inside. So I got this at the gift shop. I got a candle that someone local makes. And these are like chocolate covered coffee beans. And I actually just transplanted some spider plant starts and I decided to give her one. And then of course, just a few odds and ends like strawberries. These are cheese curds. These are so good. Some um, ginger beer and no, it's not actual beer. It's just, it's really good. And pineapple. This is some pure Michigan maple syrup that they have there at the store and some nice hot pads. Dora, there's something there for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> you have to look at this amazing stuff. Oh my goodness. Look at that salad, corn, and what are these? Corn is out of our garden. Pork chops. Pork steak. And this corn is from their garden, and then this oh, wow. potato casserole. Oh, and look at this challah bread. Oh my goodness! And then she even made cinnamon rolls. Yep. Probably spent like the last two days. Right here. Oh my goodness! This is gonna be good. next morning and we're heading to the capital of Helena and it's just amazing to think that there's in the whole United States and even Washington DC there's people gathering at the capitals praying and worshiping and I've got four friends here with me this is Elizabeth and Penny back there and there is Carol 
these are some good friends and it's just an amazing time to talk and connect as we drive. And by the way, I'm going to ask uh, Elizabeth to share a little bit more about this, this gathering that we're doing. Yeah, so I'm so excited because it's something that the Lord's doing and He is He's raising up the women in this hour to stand for their families and to stand for their children. And mm -hmm. it's, it's the, the mothers, you know, the grandmothers, the aunts, whatever, yes. sisters, whatever it is, you know. I don't have children of my own, but I have such a heart to see a generation follow God. And there's so much deception and there's so much things that the enemy is trying to bring against our kids. And you know, not on our watch. Yes. We're rising absolutely. up and we're saying, we're standing together yes. as women and we're saying no, not on our yes. watch. You know, the enemy will not have the next generation. He won't have the kids. He's not going to deceive them. They're going to know their identity. God wants them to know who they are. Absolutely. And to know and to stand mm -hmm. because there is a great calling on their lives. And he yes. wants... The, he wants them to follow him and they are going yes. to they're gonna know Jesus yeah. and they're gonna know their identity because there's an army that is rising up and we're we are praying and we're standing and that's yes. what we're doing today at the Capitol yeah. I mean I think there's gonna be guys there too but we're just staying standing together and we're just saying no you know yes. no to the things that are coming no yeah. to the things that the enemy is trying to, to bring against our kids yeah. the gender confusion and all those things you know the confusion of their minds and yeah. even they don't know who they are and just whatever it is you know there's just things that that are coming against and we see those things rise up and so we're gonna rise up yes. we're gonna rise up yes. in, in the body of Christ knowing mm -hmm. who our Savior is knowing yeah. who Jesus is and knowing who who we are and saying no yeah. you yes. know Absolutely. we don't we don't come against it as um, as a movement or as like we don't come against it and as fighting against yeah. them, you know. We're fighting yeah. against the principalities and the powers that are rising yeah. up, not against other people. We're rising up against the powers and the, the authorities that are rising up against our children, yes. and we're saying no to that. Yes, yeah. And we're not afraid because our God is bigger. Yeah. We, he has got the power, yeah. so we know that our children will belong to the Lord, mm -hmm. and we claim that. Yes. And you can see I just have the best group of friends. <laughs>
This is Sunday afternoon, and this brings us to the end of the video. And it's just such a beautiful day again, such a beautiful day in Montana, like 70 degrees, just perfect, like just perfect. So I'm sitting out here on the porch and just enjoying this. And it was such a good week. It was such a good week of just seeing family and friends and going to the Capitol and yeah, I just, it was such a blessed week. And next week we are heading back to Montana, but we're, we still have a few days here. We're gonna do some garden cleaning and that stuff. And then towards the end of the week, we're gonna head out, head back to, did I say Montana? I meant to say Alaska. <laughs> uh, we're gonna head out back to, up to Alaska. And now I know a lot of you have 
said in the comments like why are you not living here in montana it looks like you like it and um why don't you just move back and you know we love montana and we also love alaska and we're like part of both states like we have a house here and we have a house there um so and you know if you follow jesus you go where he leads you and so that is where we're at right now we feel that the lord wants us there for a season i don't know how long and so that's what we're doing right now we live up there and every so often we come down here and stay just a little bit to see family and friends and church friends so yeah that's where god has us right now and we we really love both places so anyways thank you all so much for just going along the journey with us and just seeing what we do daily and how we live and just stay tuned for more encouragement because that is what i like to bring um and god bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you until we see you again Thank you.